In this video, I want to show you how to do basic math in Microsoft Excel. So, a lot of people struggle with mathematical formulas in Excel, and I'd like to give you the basics. So, let's take a look at this spreadsheet. First of all, all formulas start with an equal sign. So, let's do a simple one over here. So I'm going to click on a cell, and I'll type in uh, equals 34 plus 54. Now, when you're typing your formulas, uh, as a rule, you don't want to have any spaces in there. Sometimes there might be a formula that will have a space, but for the most part, most formulas will not have spaces. So I typed in equals 34 plus 54. When I hit the enter key, notice how it did the math for me. So rule number one, all formulas start with the equal sign. Notice up here in the formula bar, you see the formula, this is equals 34 plus uh, 54. Let's do a subtraction. I'll do uh, equals 98 minus 87. And then we have the, uh, the result there. So all formulas are always going to start with the equal sign, as you can see. Whenever you want to do math in Microsoft Excel, you start by typing in an equal sign in a blank cell. Now let's take a look at rule number two. It is better to click on a cell that has the number you want to use rather than typing in that number. Let me show you an example of what I mean. Let's say we want to add both of those numbers up. So I'll say equals 88 plus 11. And that will give me the result of 99. Of course, right? But let me show you a better way. I'm going to start the formula off with the equal sign. Now, instead of typing in the number 88, I'm going to click on the 88 that's on the uh, cell, and which is really cell C8. Then I'll type in the plus sign. Then I'll click on the number 11, which is really cell C9. So now the formula says, equals C8 plus C9, which really means that we're going to use the, the numbers in that cell. We still get the 99, but let me show you why we would do it the way we just did it. If I change this 88 to 76, this first 99 is not going to change because those numbers are hard-coded hard into the cell. The second 99 will change because it's pointing to that cell. Notice how this second number changed here. The first number didn't change because if you look at the formula up here, the numbers are hard coded in there. So we'd have to actually change the formula to change that result. In this case, the formula is pointing to cells C8 and C9. So when cell C8 or C9 actually changed, then the formula also updated as well. So let's try that again. I want to add up those four numbers. So we'll say equals, right? We start the equal sign. I'll click into 76 plus the 11, which is really cell C9, plus the 99, which is really cell C11, plus the, C, uh, the 87, which is cell C12. That means if any of those numbers change, then the result of the formula also change. Here it says 273. So I'll type in, um, I'll type in 65 here, and watch how the, the number will change at the bottom as you can see. So rule number two means that um, after you type in the equal sign, if the number that you want to use is already on your spreadsheet somewhere, you're going to click on that cell uh, and then just use your math after that. And then the formula will update when that cell changes. That's very important. Now let's take a look at rule number three. In a longer formula, the math is going to follow the mathematical order as defined over here on the right hand side. So Let's do a formula that has uh, more than one calculation. So I'm going to type in equals 4 plus 5 times 6. Now, right now, it's, uh, it's actually going to do the, you would think it's going to take it left to right. You think it would do the 4 plus 5 and then multiply it by the 6, but that's not what's going to happen. It's going to take the 5 times the 6 because it's going to follow the mathematical order, which I have over here. Let's take a look at that formula. So think about why it got to the 34. It took the 5 times the 6, which is 30, and then came back and added the 4 because of the mathematical order. If I want the, um, if I want the addition to happen first there, here's what we'll do. Now another way, I can see the formula up here in the formula bar. So I'm going to click on the formula, and I'll type in open parentheses before the 4, and a close parentheses after the 5. You see, 
the mathematical order is going to go parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, and addition and subtraction. So anything in parentheses is going to go first. So when I hit the enter key, now I have a different result. Instead of 34, now it says 54 because it did the addition first because of the parentheses. So it's, the math in Excel is going to follow the mathematical order. It's going to do anything in parentheses first, and then exponents, and then multiplication, and then division, and then addition, and subtraction. In this column, we have examples of using all of those. So an exponent is going to be uh, like equals two, and you get this little up arrow by doing a shift to six on your keyboard. Uh, equals two, and the up arrow and the four means two to the fourth power, and you can see it gives us the number of 16 as a result. Multiplication is going to use the asterisk, equals four, asterisk five, means four times five. The division is going to be the slash. It says equals 99 slash 11. The addition will be the plus sign, equals 98 plus 56. And we can see the result over here of what that formula would give you if you typed it in. And then uh, here's the subtraction, equals 22 minus 5. So when you have a longer formula, the math is going to follow the mathematical order. Uh, so here's a way to remember the mathematical order. Maybe you remember this from way back in high school or grade school, wherever they taught this to, uh, this uh, example. So look at the first letter of each of the words in column F. I have P-E-M-D-A-S. <clears throat> then they gave you a mnemonic device to help you remember. I have, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Did you ever hear about that? If you notice, those words start with the same letters as the words over here. So uh, it's just a way to help you remember the mathematical order. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So let's put all those three form uh, the rules together. All formulas start with the equal sign. Rule number two, it is better to click on a cell that has the number that you want to use uh, after you type in the equal sign rather than typing in that number so that when that, that cell changes, then the formula will update. That's the purpose for that. And then in longer formulas, the, uh, the math is going to follow the mathematical order. And the way you would give something precedence is you put things in parentheses. So just about every formula in Excel will follow those three rules. If you watch the video a couple of times, you really get the hang of it and you want to practice with that as well. So everybody, I want to thank you for watch, watching the video today. Uh, my name is Tom Fregali. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. You can see my other certifications here. I'm available for on-site training, private webinars, consulting. Uh, I've been doing this for a very long time, and I've, I go to corporations, or I go do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I could do uh, webinars. And uh, here's how to contact me. Here's my phone number, my website, my, my email address. Uh, if you want to get the sample files from my videos, you can uh, send an email to getclassfiles at gmail.com. Please subscribe to my channel and share and like this video. Thank you for watching.